Meet Dieter Michael Krohn, who created the world's first paper plane folding machine gun. It works by sticking 200 sheets of A5 paper into the back, and instead of firing bullets, when you pull the trigger, it unleashes a barrage of up to 120 paper planes every minute. Now you're probably thinking, why would you make a paper plane folding machine gun? What possible purpose could it serve? Well, Dida loves making paper planes, as it's his hobby. And many years ago, someone approached him and asked if he could make 500 paper planes for a 50th birthday party they were having for their boss. Now even though Dida enjoys making paper planes, he calculated, at 3 minutes per plane times 500 planes, it would take him about 25 hours to fold them all. He said, that is not fun, not even for me. But some time ago, Dieter was changing jobs and decided to start studying new CAD software. And he wanted to put his training and skills to practical use and recalled the request to make 500 paper planes. So he decided to design and make a machine that folds paper and makes paper planes. And since Dieter has a background in mechanical engineering and applied mechanics, he had all the skills needed. So he combined his knowledge, training and his hobby and came up with the first version of the paper plane machine gun. Over the years he has developed it further, refining it each time and enhancing its speed, with the current version being called the PFM A5 V 2.0. I asked Dida, does he make and sell these guns or are they just a one-off creation for his own use? He said, unfortunately the production is very complicated and expensive. The 3D printing parts alone require almost 470 hours on a 3D printer. In addition, there are plenty of bearings, timing belts, shafts, screws etc. that it almost takes a week for assembly of the machine, including adjustments. The cost of all the parts to make the gun cost over 4,500 euro, or about 5,000 US dollars. But the completed paper plane gun would have a much higher selling price, and because of that, it has deterred interested people from buying one. Now in regards to how fast the machine is, the first version Dita created had to be hand cranked, which he said bored him very quickly. But on the latest machine, he uses a cordless drill as the motor. And because the speed of the cordless drill can be controlled, he can speed it up or slow it down. Plus if the gun ever gets a jam, he can just run it in reverse to clear the jam. The machine produces up to 120 planes per minute, or 2 planes per second, which he found is optimal, because at that speed it does not cause any problems. He has tried it up to 450 planes per minute, but then you have to be very careful, because just after 20 to 30 seconds, the high friction causes the plastic gears to begin to melt. Now at a quick glance, the paper plane gun is not practical, costs too much to make and sell, and has no real purpose. But what you have to remember is, it was made to help improve his skills with new CAD software and fine tune his engineering skills. Plus, it helps him with his hobby of making paper planes. But look at it this way, when he is older, he will get to tell his grandkids, when I was a kid, I had to fold my own paper planes with my own two hands. You kids have it too easy these days, with your fancy paper plane folding machine guns. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.